I'm gonna show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail on your Android phone, and we're starting right now. The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna install an application called Pixel Lab. You can get that for free on the Google Play Store. Once you have that installed, you wanna click on the icon to open it up. When you first open this app up, you are going to see that it is a square ratio canvas that they give you. You wanna change this to something more YouTube friendly by going up to the top right. You're gonna see three little dots. You wanna click on those. And then you're gonna see image size. You wanna click on image size and you want to choose from the preset options, you want to go down to YouTube thumbnail. Now this is gonna give you the YouTube recommended 1280 by 720 size. Personally, I like to make my thumbnails at 1920 by 1080 so that I have an online archive. But for this particular tutorial, we're gonna keep it at 1280 by 720 because that's what YouTube recommends. Once you have your dimensions in place, whatever you choose, then you just click okay. The next thing that you wanna do is you want to add an image to this so that you can build your text around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the plus icon, and then we're gonna go into our gallery, and then we're gonna pick any picture that would work for our thumbnail. What you're gonna see here once you have an image chosen is it's going to give you a 16 by nine ratio box around your image. This is gonna be your crop space. So you wanna grab a corner of this and you want to scale it down to use whatever part of the image that you would like. Here, because I like to have my face big on the right and my text over to the left, you know, I leave enough room here in the picture to do that. And I put my face over here to the right with an eye on the third so that everything ends up in the end, nice and balanced. And then once that's finished, I'm gonna click the check mark. Once this is imported into the app, all I have to do is click here in the corner and drag that out. Now, something that you're gonna wanna do is when you are building text on this later, if you don't lock this image into place, then you're gonna accidentally hit it a ton of times. I figured that out the hard way when learning to use this app initially. So what you do to lock it is you go into your layers and first thing you wanna do is you wanna click the lock tab. Now that's gonna keep you from moving anything here, but you want to still move this down underneath that initial text layer that is in there by default. Once that is finished, then all you have to do is click on the layer icon again, and that's gonna go away and you're still gonna see that text layer there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that text layer and we're gonna move it up here. And just to show you as an example, I can do anything I want with this picture and it's not gonna move, it's gonna stay in place. So I'm gonna click on this text up here in the top, and then I'm going to click on the A icon down here in the bottom, and this is gonna open up a whole bunch of different options for you of things that you can do with the text. So it's gonna give you style options, you can actually edit the text, you can delete it, copy it, you can move it into a particular position, change the size, the color, make 3D protrusions on it. I mean, pretty much anything you want, add drop shadows, strokes, anything that you wanna to do to make your text stand out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into the styles, and I'm gonna click on that icon and I'm gonna go into browse. Because I like my thumbnails to be nice and bold, I'm going to grab the nice text that is standing out to me right now, which is right here in the bottom right. And it automatically applied that to my text layer. So now I need to change what it's actually going to say. So I'm going to click on the edit icon over here and then I'm going to change this to whatever text it is that I'm going to use in my thumbnail. Once you choose the actual text, while this dialog box is still open here, if you look up here in the top left, you're gonna see a big T and a little t. If you click on that, then it'll make your word all caps, or if you click on it again, it'll make it all lowercase. So for this example, I'm gonna keep everything as caps. I'm gonna click OK. Now, what I wanna do is I'm going to go down in all of these options that I have, and I'm gonna click on the size icon, and I'm gonna make this big. Because, you know, people are on mobile phones these days, I want them to be able to read this quickly and easily at a glance. So I'm going to get my size together. And as you can see, I adjusted it just a little bit to make sure that my size is how I want it. And then I'm gonna click the check mark to make sure that everything stays how I want it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down through my options and I'm going to choose the shadow option. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because I want my text to come off of my picture a little bit. So I'm going to expand the blur radius. I'm going to expand the offset. And as you can see, it's starting to put that shadow behind my text. I'm going to spread this out just a little bit more. Once I have it how I want, I'm going to click on the check mark. And then that says that that is basically how I want my thumb to look. So I'm going to do this for the two other layers of text that I'm going to put on here. Since we already walked through that, I'm going to speed through this part.
Okay, so as you can see here, I have the text in place that I will actually want to use in this thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to just show you some of the other options so you can see what is available and some of the possibilities with this. If you want to rotate your text, you just click on the rotate icon, and then you can rotate the text a little bit to kind of make everything a little bit offset, kind of like I do in my thumbnails. You can also change the style, of course, to italic or bold or, you know, however it is that you want to make your thumbnails look. You can also add an actual background to your text as well, which is pretty cool. You just click on the background option, you enable it, and then you will see that pop up. Now I'm going to change this to black and I'm going to change the padding on here to basically the idea is to make it just kind of fit around my text so that it complements it and helps it stand out. Another option that they have, of course, is you can go in and you can change the color on all of this stuff. To do that, you click on the color icon and then you can click on any color that you want. And another really cool option that they have in here that I was pretty impressed with is they also have 3D rotation. So if you want to, you know, give your text a little bit of a tweak and, you know, spend a little bit of time on it and make everything really stand out as far as making it grab attention, you can easily do that with this app. Just be careful not to junk it up too much because you want it to be nice and clean and easy to read and not a total mess. So be really careful if you don't have any design experience not to junk up your thumbnails. You want everything as crisp and clear and easy to read as possible. Now there's another option in addition to the background that I showed you before, you can also add shape layers to this by clicking on the shape layer. Then you would go in and you would do, you know, let's say a rectangle if we wanted it to look something like my thumbs and you just position this. And then as you can see, what you might run into here is that if you're doing something like this, the shape layer is gonna be on top. All you have to do for that, once you hit that check mark is you can actually go in to the layers option and you can grab it and you can just pull it down underneath whatever words you want it to be under. Just make sure that it's on top of your picture. So, you know, you could do something like that if you wanted to, or let's say, you know, in that situation, Let's say instead we wanted it to be red or black so it stands out just a little bit more. You know, this gives you the creative freedom to be able to do that if you want. And it also lets you adjust the size perfectly within the app as well to where you can make it wider or you can make it taller. You can do pretty much anything that you want. I mean, this is a fantastic app for making thumbnails on the go. Once you have your thumb all worked out and everything looks exactly how you want it to look, in order to export this, you want to click on the three dots up here in the top right. And then all you have to do is click on export image. And it's going to ask you what your file format is. You can use JPEG if you want. You can also have the option for PNG, which is a bigger file size. It's less compression. Then you choose your actual size that you want. Since we made this at 1280 by 720, then I'm going to export it at 1280 by 720. But you can change these to any dimensions that you, that you like. Then once you have all of that worked out, then you just click save to gallery and that thumbnail is now in your gallery and you can actually upload this now into the YouTube Creator Studio app. If you learned anything in this video, remember to leave a like and if you wanna learn how to grow your YouTube channel and make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, make sure to hit the round icon right now to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.